what up? Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about an idea of an orbital and electrons. You see, atoms are not two-dimensional. You guys grew up maybe watching Jimmy Neutron and it has that kind of flat look to the atom and you see the things kind of spinning around. Atoms don't do that. Atoms are three-dimensional, honestly, because we're three-dimensional, right? So we're gonna pretend that this little matchstick and is an electron and I'm gonna put it inside this egg. I'm gonna shake this up really quick. And again, we can agree that there's no way you are gonna be able to actually predict where the matchstick part is 100% of the time. It's moving too small, it's too small and too fast. Same with electrons. Electrons are so small and again, fast, that we really can't tell 100% what they are. If we did, we would be able to solve a bunch of the world's problems because we'd have no chemical waste, because we'd accurately predict where the electrons are going, and force no waste. And that could lead to a lot of really cheap things, which is good. Um, but because we don't, we need a way to kind of figure out where those electrons are. That's where orbitals come in, and specifically orbital diagrams, which look a little something like this. At the bottom, you have low energy, you have high energy, and you have to figure out how to fill these up. Well, there are three rules for this. Alpha principle, Paul exclusion principle, and Hun's rule. So I just wanted to kind of share what these are. The alpha principle is the Drake rule. I'm going to put that in quotes because that's something I made up. It's because Drake has a song starting from the bottom, now we hear so the alpha principle states that if you have an electron, you need to fill the lowest energy orbital first. So, from the bottom, that simple. So what ends up happening is first orbital or electron that we're gonna fill. And again, you can either do arrows or a half arrow, up or down, doesn't matter. Is going to be at the bottom. This is where you want to start. The second rule is Pauli exclusion principle, which states that there's only going to be two electrons per orbital. What that means is if you're starting here, the second one is going to be pointed down or you might go down first, then in order doesn't matter, but they need to have opposite spins. And again, we're gonna talk in class about that. Remember, we're gonna do like those rolling jugs. What happens is if electrons are spinning the same way, they're not getting further apart and electrons hate each other because they're all negative, right? So you have to make sure you're going opposite as you just saw, right? Opposite, they repel. But again, the order of those doesn't matter. And then Hun's rule is what I like to call the creeper rule. Kind of like in Minecraft, right? And that means that you go to empty spots. So what happens is this. After this one is filled, you have to go up to here. So our next arrow might look like you know, I'm going to go down this time. The second arrow cannot go into spot one. And that's because there are two empty seats. Think of it like this. If you're a restaurant and you see someone's already sitting here and you don't know them, again, electrons don't like each other, so you might not like them either. Stranger danger. You're going to go in either spot two Again, I'm going to go up, why not, or spot three. Again, it doesn't matter. You just have to go to empty spots first, and then pull up. Okay. I'm going to make a separate video showing these examples. I think they're really, really good, and we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to upload that video right now. 